Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we will be going over each and every single set listed on the PTS. I will be showing you what the sets do, what they look like, and guys, there are a couple sets that are absolutely meta-breaking, which I cannot wait to cover. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the way I'm going to lay this out, we are going to test all the five pieces first, and then we will roll over into the monster sets. So the first set I want to try out is the Glacial Guardian's Curious. So the two piece gives you armor, the three piece gives you stamina, the four piece gives you health recovery, which is uh, pretty wasted, not looking good so far. But the five piece, when you block an enemy within eight meters of you, you tether to them for eight seconds. While tethered, you deal X amount of frost damage every second to enemies touching the tether and cause them to have 200% increased status effect chance. The tether breaks if the target moves more than 12 meters away. This effect can occur once every 12 seconds and the damage scales off of your maximum health. This is interesting. This feels like it is straight up geared toward the Magnum. I told you guys Magnum was going to have a buff. You, We are already building into maximum health anyway. I think this set might actually be pretty viable. Of course we haven't tested anything. So who knows how the meta is going to shift up. So we're just going to block some attacks. So it looks like it only occurs to one target. Um, it's really cool. So we're just going to go ahead and block again. They can occur once every 12 seconds. And everyone in this takes damage as well. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, very cool visual effect. Um, very cool. Very cool. Okay guys, so set number two is the best named ESO set ever I've ever heard. It is called Maligalig. Maligaligs, Maelstrom, Maligaligs. So what does this set actually do? Now this is a set I'm going to theorize. This is going to go onto the Magic of Sorcerer or really any healing class and whatsoever. But this has a lot of synergy with the upcoming Sorg buffs and also some of the other sets we will be going over. Storm Curses Revenge and Calgara. Here in just a moment, you'll see why this synergy is going to be absolutely amazing. So, we have Max and Magicka, healing done. Uh, weapon spell damage again, I feel like this is kind of more of a pseudo offensive healing set, but you can toss this on your sorcerer and just wait till you read the five piece. And overhealing yourself or a group member with a direct heal applies Maligalig's Maelstrom to the target for six seconds that deals shock damage to the enemies within seven meters. This damage is based on 33% the overall heal amount up to 3300. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. It's ironic that's the exact same number as the critical surge heal from uh, the Magic of Sorcerer kit, right? So essentially, uh, this proc hits pretty far away. You can see the particle effects. Um, we'll, we'll do it one more time. I think it's on a 10 second cooldown. Uh, but uh, yeah, here's the particle effects on the ground. Uh, Looks pretty distorted, pretty cool. And uh, the, the radius is actually a lot bigger than uh, what you think it is. So like three blocks away uh, to the Ogrim here. So it actually does hit pretty far away. Now, the reason I'm saying this is going to be good on the Magic Sorcerer is because it's shock damage. And wait till we get into the next five piece set. Okay, so the next set we want to talk about today, fellas, is Storm Cursed Revenge. Now, this set is going to be probably best in slot on the Magic Sorcerer. If I had to imagine you want to pair this set with other sets like the one we just mentioned, or you want to pair this with something with Overwhelming Surge. So let me explain to you why I think that. So. 2 piece gives you max and magic, it gives you spell damage, offensive penetration, all phenomenal pieces to have. Now the 5 piece, when you deal shock damage, you have a 15% chance to deal an additional X amount of shock damage. This will go up tremendously because I don't have anything in my CP or my passives or literally anything. This is the, the weakest it's ever going to be. It's actually going to go up a lot higher. Uh, up to 2 other enemies within 5 meters. This effect scales off the higher of your weapon spell damage. So this seems pretty underwhelming. But I don't think you guys will think the same once we get to a monster set. So uh, let's go ahead and test out to see uh, what this looks like exactly. So we have a lightning staff. So it has a 15% chance to proc extra damage. And I, I really think that's just all it does. Um, it doesn't really have any cool visual cues um, that I can tell. Here's the dot damage. And then it just randomly does more damage. And yeah, it, that's pretty much... All it is. Anytime you deal lightning damage, you have a chance to proc even more lightning damage. Kind of like a, a pinball effect. Okay, so the next set we're going to cover is medium armor set. This is Spriggan's Vigor, fellas. So this is obviously for a stand boy class. So we got critical chance. We have maximum stamica. Stamica. <laughs> um, 
weapon and spell damage, and then the five piece. When you deal critical damage, you gain a stack of the wild growth for five seconds and restore 100 stamina, 10 stacks max. Each stack of wild growth increases your maximum stamina by 222. This effect can occur once every half second. So, the snap food to this set is it's only going to give you 200 maximum stamina, but it's also going to give you stamina back anytime you crit. So, I would imagine this is going to be very, very important on a dot heavy build, maybe even a bleed build. This would be pretty, pretty amazing. So you can see the buff right here below my character model. Every time you crit, you seem to get a stack, right? And then this goes up to uh, 10 stacks, and then that will increase your stamina again by like 2,222, whatever. And then you only have five seconds. Now, if you let this five seconds go, I'm pretty confident it falls off. So. Is this set going to be worthwhile? I don't really know. You bleedy boys out there, tell me, are you guys struggling with your sustain? And if you are, this might be the set for you. All right, fellas, so the next set we're going to go over may actually be game breaking. I'm not sure how this synergy is going to scale, but let's go ahead and get into it. This is another medium armor set, actually considering running this on my Magic of Dragonite, to be honest with you, fellas. So we get critical chance, we get offensive penetration, critical chance yet again, and then the five piece. When you deal critical damage, you are an a you are an ally can activate Griffin's Reprisal on the enemy for 8 seconds, causing a small Griffin to fly by and deal a metric crap load of bleed damage over 10 seconds to enemies within 5 meters, including your target by the way. This energy can be applied once every 20 seconds and scales off the higher your maximum your weapon or spell damage. This looks really cool, check it out. So whenever you do critical damage, you have 8 seconds to activate this. You can line this up with your burst, and this cool ass Griffin just flies into the dude and then the debuff has like these really cool feather effects as well. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait 20 seconds in order to perform the synergy again. But guys, this set is really, really cool. Like never has there been a set in the game to where you yourself, other than the Necro, can activate your own synergy. This is going to be pretty nutty. So we'll watch it one more time. That's really, really cool. I really like the idea of this set. And hopefully it's not too OP when it comes down, but you can line up some pretty nutty burst combos with this. It's going to be scary. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far in the video, the next set we're going to go over. Well, if you are a Bash Crow enthusiast or a fan of Bash builds, this is going to be the set for you. So it's called the Turning Tide. Heavy armor set. So it gives you health, gives you maximum stamina, and gives you health. Now the five piece. When you block, you gain flowing water for 10 seconds causing your next bash attack to deal a metric amount of magic damage to up to 6 enemies in a 10 meter line and apply major vulnerability for 10 seconds increasing their damage taken by 10%. This effect can occur every 15 seconds and scales off of your maximum health. Oh man. The Colossus ult from the Necro skill line. Like this is without stats. This is how high the tooltip is. This 4300 with zero passive, zero stats, and crap gear into everything. It scales off your maximum health. Can you imagine this on a Bash Crow? Oh my Lanta. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look to see what it looks like here. That's cool. That's cool. Very, very cool. It hits every. That's a pretty generous line, too. Let's try it one more time. Don't no jam it just does. Well. That is really cool, guys. This is actually the first time I'm uh, seeing this. That. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, is all I'm going to say, guys. We're just going to leave this set right here and just let me know down in the comments how open you think this is going to be. Okay, guys. So the next set I want to go over is called Rallying Cry. Now, this is a pretty different so this is specifically geared toward pvp so let's delve in so we get critical chance we get max magic you get critical chance on this as well so while battle spear is active critically healing yourself or an ally causes you and up to 11 other group members within 12 meters to gain 300 weapon and spell damage and 1650 critical resistance for 20 seconds that's a huge amount what is this set each group member affected Reduces the weapon and spell damage by 15 and critical resistance by 83. Okay, so this effect can occur every 15 seconds. So This set actually bodes well because by having this kind of niche tooltip So first of all, it says battle spear. So this is going to be PvP only. So this is serial only uh, This is going to be a group play set. So not only are you getting benefits from you know Benefiting everyone in your group, but the more people in your group. It's actually diminishing this effect which 
kind of bodes well for because we've cried about this for so long guys like how long have we said hey cross healing is op you should not have the same amount of healing having 12 people in your group you know eight you know whatever I, there's the course goes my phone right but you should have some sort of diminishing returns on the amount of healing you're able to put out based on how many people that's in your group just to kind of balance everything because imagine being a group of two people going against a group of 12 well you're gonna get slaughtered unless you know what you're doing so this set kind of coincides with that idea so it's giving everyone a buff but the more people it gives a buff to the less it is so um i really like the the overall kind of identity of this set is really cool let me know what you guys think okay so going into the next serial pvp set we have you and sunder this is a medium armor set so you get maximum stamina stamina weapon and spell damage then the five piece when you deal damage with a heavy attack gain 1236 offense and penetration for each enemy within eight meters of your target for eight seconds this effect can occur once every seven seconds so essentially the more you're heavy attacking let's say there's like 10 people around you you're gonna get like 10,000 penetration that's crazy i wonder if pets count for this as well um this obviously requires a lot more testing but i wonder if like engine guarding counts blast bones counts you know any sort of pets count so that's pretty interesting so uh, there's the uh the buff on your character down there lasts for 10 seconds got that little like little, little, little puncturing dagger little icon right so um yeah so it's a pretty simple set and potentially could be really really op because this is a buff you applied to yourself this is not something you have to maintain so you don't have to double bar this set right so you can be on your back bar do a simple light attack or a heavy attack with a bow on the back bar you know, so there's you know eight or nine people you heavy attack them in a group well, now you're getting like 10,000 offensive penetration, which equates to like 20% more damage overall. Like, this could be pretty nutty. Obviously, in a 1v1, it's going to be pretty trash, but man, this that's a lot of extra spell penetration just from a heavy attack. We'll have to wait for the meta to unfold to find out. All right, fellas, so this is going to be the last PvP set that we cover here. It's a five-piece and serialist is heavy. So this is called Innervating Sabatons. Now, this is one of those sets you run if you want to be a complete a-hole and really mess with a lot of people. So the two beast gives you healing taken, gives you maximum health, and gives you armor. The five piece, when you deal direct damage, you have a 10% chance to create an area under the target that detonates after one second. Applying Innervation Aura for 10 seconds. Innervation Auras lower the health recovery, magic recovery, and stamina recovery of enemy players by 129 per player hit. This effect can occur once every 15 seconds. Imagine, again guys, another set to bust up ball groups, right? So the last patch we had Dark Convergence, Plague Break, Hrothgar, all of these just went into Delete Zerg. Now these are sets to debuff the Zergs, to make them malleable, to make them manageable, right? So the, this is such a good path that they're taking. Like, I know I'm spending a lot of time discussing this, but this this is such a smart play so it's 10 percent chance to apply this aura so more than likely we're not gonna get this aura. there it is there it is so that aura it, you saw it was really cool it just kind of like it's kind of like a dark conversion proc right and it and it hits everyone i don't think this lasts i wonder how long this lasts actually but yeah per person's hit if there's like 20 people in this that's going to put a debuff on them and then they are going to have literally no magic stamina or health recovery for like the duration imagine hitting 20 people with this right and then all of a sudden it's 20 times uh 129 what's that guy what was that 2000 recovery off everything yeah don't get stats back for 10 seconds unless you purge it you don't get you don't get anything back not gonna get health not gonna get stamina not gonna get magic it this is, in my opinion, like one of the best Zerg busting sets, like not ironically that you could have put in the game. This is such a good idea because, I mean, let's be honest, when you're in Zerg, you have infinite resources because you don't have to worry about casting all your expensive defensive spells, even if you have any. So tossing this on a bunch of people in a ball group, this is really going to have a lot of negative effects and it's going to make handling large scale PvP much easier. Okay guys, so we made it to the monster set section and we are going to go over Cargata. I mispronounced it earlier, but uh, yeah, all these sets are really weird. This is such a game changer set for the magic and sorcery. So let's take a look at this. So there's a lot of synergy thereof. Now you definitely want to wear a costume because you're going to look like a chicken if you wear this. So uh, it gives you max and magica, 
gives you stamina. So it's like a buy stat one piece, which is really cool. And then the two piece on dealing damage with a heavy attack. So this does not have to be a fully charged heavy attack. You can medium attack weave or even just one tick from the lightning staff will count as a heavy attack damage. You create a whirlwind that slowly moves forward for eight seconds, growing in three meters every three seconds. Enemies within the whirlwind take shock damage, again, relating back to the sets we mentioned earlier, which synergize very, very well from shock damage and also bolsters your damage from shock damage. Plus you have lightning form on the magic of sorcery. You, you see where I'm getting at, guys? Plus it does physical damage every second. Allies within the whirlwind reduce their magic and stamina cost by 10%. So this is essentially a seducer, but on steroids, right? This effect can occur once every 20 seconds and the damage scales off of the higher of your weapon spell damage. Take a look at this. This is cool. So magic sorcerer runs into sustain issues because if you're not rocking like 2k magic recovery, you're kind of screwed unless you have a lot of cost reduction. So this helps with that as well. Let's check this out. Like it starts off slow. It's huge, right? And then it gets super huge. And, and this is hitting everyone everyone so if you correspond back to the sets before when you deal lightning damage you have a chance to proc even more damage right so yeah this that might be a little nutty if it's not watched very very carefully that aoe is massive okay so the last set i want to go over which is probably the the most underwhelming set uh unfortunately is a monster set called nazarays so nazarays it gives you uh health for the one piece now the two piece we need to use an ultimate ability the closest six enemies within 12 meters have all damage over time, major debuffs, and minor debuffs applied to them extended by one second per 25 ultimate spent. This would be amazing if you could pair it with beam sets with the vet strand or whatever maelstrom or whatever staff it is where you use Ellie Drain and it, it, it does the beam thing, right? Extending those effects beyond their original intended duration would completely break the game. So they did add a little disclaimer, this effect will not apply to damage beams or damage tethers. Sad face. This effect can occur once every 20 seconds per target. So, um, to me, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything this would be too majorly OP on besides like extending the buff durations of like major vulnerability or major fracture or something of that nature. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this set. I'm probably missing something here. And all the other sets that we've kind of discussed so far have been pretty OP in their own ways if you build them correctly. Uh, but this one just seems very underwhelming. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video of going over all the sets, kind of what they do and what they look like in ESO. Give you something to look forward to during the Ascended Isles expansion. Now, I didn't see any trial sets. I don't think there's a new trial. If I missed a set, please let me know down in the comments and I will go back and make a video on said set. So, guys, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members who continue to support me. Thank you all so much for just being a part of the community and, quite frankly, a part of the family. And, guys, before I go, don't forget to tell someone you love them. Have a great day. Peace.